I'm Jacinta Rioba from Narok County. Uh, I farm French beans. I alternate sometimes with uh, cabbages, hoho, onions, but basically I do French beans and this is my story. I began farming interestingly when I was still very young and basically it's because of the way I saw life. Where I used to work, uh, one of my colleagues got sacked. Uh, he was paid, yes, but then two, three months down the line, he was, the life was miserable. So I was like, since I'm not employed in the government and I'm in a farming industry, I saw how they were making money. So I was like, I need to start doing this. I thought it was easy because I saw how people were farming and then I like, yes, I'll go for this. I started with maize farming and wheat. I started with two acres. I, it went on well. I got almost three times the amount. So I went to five acres and I was like, yeah, I can get money here. And then I moved to 30, went up to 60 acres. So I saw it was something good. But then there was a drought in 2014, I think, and then I lost like everything. So I lost like almost 4.8 million, because I had done like 70 acres of wheat, and then I had done some maize also, 50 acres. So I thought, ha, ah, this one, now I have to go back and strategize again. I went for loans, I took loans, and then I started doing French bean farming. It was good because I remember at one point I had like 4.2 tons and I knew now I had made good money. But then that company went under, <laughs> then I lost some money. Then I was like, do I still do it or not? But looking at it, at least the good thing with farming is you can have little by little. It's not like you need the whole amount together. You get some small coins, you lease land, and then you move from leasing land, you get some money, you plow, then you can buy seed and plant, and but then you have to know where are you taking this produce. Um, there was a time I farmed cabbages, but I, by the time I'm selling, it was two, three bob. Per, per, per piece, so basically I couldn't break even. So I decided I have to farm and before then I have to know where the market is and the market should be reliable. And one key thing I saw, cause the other company that I was farming for, they didn't have assets in Kenya. So when they closed shop and went, we tried following up, but we couldn't get anything. So I decided to start farming with a company that have assets in Kenya. So by that I know if they fly out of the country, then at least I'll have something. So I got a contract from them. I used the contract to get some finances. And yeah, it's been a beautiful journey. Despite the challenges, I have passion for farming. Uh, it motivates because you see you're also empowering someone else, like for this venture. You have so many ladies that come and pick. You see a smile, you put a smile on their face. And it also, you look ahead and see there are some, there are people who have done it and they've progressed. So even you, you see from where I came from, I started very little, but where I am at, I still see I'm going far. Uh, farming is good, so long as you strategize well, know what you want and you go for it. My name is Jacinta Rioba. This has been my farming story. I want to hear your farming story. <laughs>